Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today's Friday, October 23rd. Good to be back. I was out Monday through Thursday, so no live stream. Uh, today was the only day trading day of the week. Uh, unfortunately, ended the week uh, red, minus 484. Did have a nice day in the Mighty 90 strategy, plus 457. Uh, took a nice winner out of Peloton, Netflix, Uber, and Roku, and then had a couple losers in Boeing and Apple. Did one pairs trade in gold and silver, ended up being a loser of 256. And then what really chopped me up was the runners today. Uh, my biggest winner overall today was Peloton, both Mighty 90 and on the runner side. My biggest loser was W, which is Wayfair, not a stock I, I usually choose. Uh, I was called out by one of our members in the room, so I fully blame that individual. Just kidding. Uh, but was a uh, loser nonetheless, uh, but did have winners in Peloton, Apple, uh, Disney, Tesla, Shopify, and Win. Uh, decent loser in Microsoft. That was a couple different trades. Uh, so let's go over those and talk about what happened. So starting with the Mighty 90 in the morning, these were all taking, taken in the live stream room. Uh, let's look at, look at Peloton first. Had this big flush down, uh, jumped in right here. Uh, took a little bit of heat, but then it bounced just like we were looking for and booked a nice profit there. Netflix booked a winner. If you look at Netflix, had this initial push higher. We got short right here and rode this thing down. So booked a little winner there. Uber uh, booked a winner on the Mighty 90 strategy in Uber. Uh, with this flush down, we got long right here and caught this little bounce back up to the pivot. Uh, Boeing was a loser. Let's take a look at Boeing. Uh, this big flush down, we got long right here and it just never quite bounced. It flushed us out. We ended up just taking the trade off, even though right after, not too long after that, it did bounce, but we were just cutting our losses. So took a loss in Boeing, uh, Apple, a small loser. Let's take a look at Apple. Uh, similar thing got caught in this flush down. And it did bounce for us, but uh, just uh, not not enough to, uh, we, we took too much heat, got in up here and ended up closing out just for a small loss. And then Roku, a winner uh, on this flush down here, got long right here and just caught that bounce. Um, oops, that's not correct. That was, <laughs> I'm not even on today. I was just looking for the mighty 90 trade. Uh, okay, yeah, so um, let's see, in, in Roku, Oh yeah. So in Roku, uh, when, when price bounced, we got short here, ended up taking off part of it right here and then held the rest as it just kind of grinded down, uh, and ended up booking a winner overall of 121. So that is that let's jump into the runners, really nice runner in Peloton. Peloton continues to be just a great performer. Uh, it bounced and once it started to, uh, kind of firm up above, let's see, I think it was, oh yeah, it was right here firm up above uh, the uh, unchanged mark positive for the day. We got long right in this area and rode this thing up to the pivot. Close that out for a $580 winner. In Apple, cut a, cut a runner as well. And this was a, this was a, um, this was a, oh yeah, the, this was a downside runner. After we got this little consolidation here, right above the lows, we just cut a little piece right there down to that pivot. For a nice little win. Uh, Wayfair W, actually, I don't even have this on my chart. Oh, yeah, here it is. So, in Wayfair, let me get to today. I'm sorry, my charts kind of jump around here. Uh, so, we had this big push up, looked like it was going to be really one of the strongest stocks on the day. Started consolidating right at this pivot. And so, we got long right at, about in this area and then just got flushed out. My only thing here is I probably held this a little bit too long instead of cutting my losses right away. I gave it a little bit more time and ended up just taking a taking a sizable loss there. So uh, Zoom was looking for a downside runner, had this big push lower, looked like it was gonna stay weak all day. I was just consolidating under this pivot. Uh, so we got short and then it just kind of flushed me out uh, when, it, when it jumped above that pivot. I just bailed on that, cut losses. Uh, same with MU. MU, I was uh, looking for a point to get short because we had this 
good weakness here uh, consolidating under this pivot. I waited for a bounce, hoping, looking for, thought it was going to be a pretty good entry, and then it just kept going on me, ended up getting flushed out, even though it, it did come back down. Uh, I had already bailed and cut my losses there. Uh, Disney, a nice winner for 358. Uh, so in Disney, when it pushed below this and it bounced back up to this pivot, we got short right here and took this nice ride down uh, for nice profit in Disney. Uh, Microsoft had a pretty sizable loser. Actually, it was a, a couple different trades. I was trying to get long. It, it, it kept kind of holding above in positive territory. And then I got flushed out for a little loss there. And then same thing, uh, I think it was, um, yeah, it was right, before, yeah, it was right here. Um, uh, I was, I was long again right here and got flushed out before it did bounce. So just got kind of chopped up. I was not really in tune with the market today. And, and sometimes that's when you just got to quit and cut your losses. I did, I would say I did over trade slightly. Uh, you know, jumped into too many symbols later in the morning, traded to about 1 p.m. Central, which I like to be cut off by about noon. And some of those losses that put me in the red did come uh, closer to that afternoon, uh, early afternoon part. Uh, Alibaba um, took a loss in Baba. Again, um, trying to get long here and just got flushed out. Um, Tesla took a little winner. Shopify took a nice winner in shop. Uh, so I was, I was really patient on this one. I had this big up. I was looking for a point to get long. Uh, I passed in the early morning. Uh, let it bounce. Came back down again. Uh, bounced. And, and then when it came back down this time, that's when I got long and took a nice ride up there for 375 bucks. And then a, a small winner in win as well. So that's the recap. Unfortunately, down 484 for the day. Look forward to next week. We'll be trading all week. Uh, make sure for you members, check the live stream room, check the calendar. We're gonna be do, doing some later morning trading next week as well. So look forward to that. Uh, everybody have a fantastic weekend and we will catch you next week.